In this video, I will be covering the index of sheets. This will be replacing what used to be known as the CPN file or model. This is going to fill out all of our CPN data, such as our county, project number, and all of that. So this is what's going to be storing our project information. In order to access the sheet index, you'll find that through the Explore. Find that here in the ribbon under the Home ribbon under pretty much any of the workflows. Go ahead and show you're in modeling. Here it is in our modeling one. If we go to like our survey, Explorer is right there. If you're still having trouble finding it, you just come up here into our ribbon, type in Explorer. And you can see here it'll show us all the different spots it's at. So if you click on it, it'll come and show it. It's even here in this, this tab here. So it's in quite a few tabs. I'm going to stay here on our IoT apps and bring up our Explorer now. In our for Explorer, we are going to be working on the sheet index portion of this. So we'll go ahead and click the little arrow, and we'll go ahead and expand it. We'll go ahead and select our work set here. This is where our index of sheets, our sheet index information is going to be contained in the work set. If we go ahead and hit our properties button, We'll go back to the modeling here. We'll go ahead and hit our properties button here. This is going to bring up our information for our project. So now you can see our index properties contains all of our project information. And here you're going to have locate these three locations are going to be for these three lines here. You can have the county. And here you're going to have your uh, uh, bridge bridge file numbers, your right away numbers. See your letting dates in here, your PIN, all of that information is going to be stored in here. In order to edit that, we're going to have to open up our sheet index for edit. So if we select this button here, it will open up the sheet index for edit. So what that's going to do is going to check out that work set to you and now allow you to edit the sheet index. So now you can see all the project properties are editable now. So this is where you're going to fill out things like work type, your right away project number, project number, bridge number, any then any information that you would normally have filled out in the pin will be filled out in here now. In order to fill out the designer information, since that can change from uh, sheet set to sheet set depending on the division that is providing it, you'll have to access it through here. And here is where the sheets are broke down. So we can see our D sheets are stored here. And you can see this isn't populated yet. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and add that A sheet to our sheet index. There are two different ways to add it. One way to add it, which has, in my opinion, a little bit more limited capabilities, is just by coming into your models, taking the model, drag and drop it in. Give it a second here. And now you can see it's already starting to update all of our text fields. So when you first add it, it will automatically update all the text fields and populate them. But, say if we need to go in here and change this, and say we he wanted spaces in here. Let's go with that, right? Alright, now when we click out of it, you're going to see here it doesn't update that. So if you want those to update visually for you right away, you can come into your Iowa DOT apps. You can click this update all text fields. It's going to pop up this update text fields window here. It's going to say it's going to update all the models unless you select the models that you want to be updated. So I'm just going to go ahead and select models. It brings up our good old select models window. I'm just going to update the A1. I'll click OK. And now you can see there it's added in the spaces and updated the text. cancel to get out of that. Uh, for this sheet here, the A sheets, we have these uh, sheet numbers hard hard coded in here. So they, uh, they they don't change, so these are in there. For the D sheets, you're going to see here, they are numbered here, and this is what's going to be actually controlling the sheet numbering for those. So if we go in here, select our D sheets, come down to our sheet numbering controls, you're going to see here our, we have our sheet prefix of D dot, and then we have our increment, it's going to go up by one each time, 
this is going to give us the number of digits here. So if you wanted a leading zero in there, you could put two. So it'd be D.02, G.01, D.02, etc. Then you have your starting number here. So for, like for this one, I know I'm going to need to change these to D2 because there's going to be, need to be a legend for D1 in there. So I'll just go ahead and change that now. Show you guys that update. And now that we've done that, if we come back in here, now you're going to see all of those now are been renumbered. So now you're going to say, now how do we get that legend in there? Well, the easiest way to do it, uh, you got to remember when you are adding things in here, you need to put them in order. They do not drag and drop and change. Go ahead and show that here now. So as you can see, it, it didn't change that number, even though I dragged and dropped it, just put it right back there. So if you've added these sheets and you need to add your legend in there, the easiest way to do that is going to be just go ahead and create a folder in that D sheets. And we'll just call that legend. Now you can see there's properties for this. And we'll just go ahead and we want this to be this similar to the first one. We'll do one, do a starting prefix of that. And I'll go ahead and show you here. We'll add, oh, did not mean to click the add folder. That's not a problem. Just click off it click back on it, we'll just delete it. So you can see nice, it's easy. If you need to remove things, you can remove things from this and re-add them back in. That's not a problem. You're not deleting any model information, anything like that. What I meant to do is add sheet. So if you're adding multiple models, this is going to be the button that you'll want to use. Let's do the add sheets. Come in. It's like that. So in here you can you can shift select you can you can control select you can shift select and then take some off so this is nice and powerful in here but we're just going to go ahead and add just the D sheet legend into there I didn't make any changes to that so I'm just going to go ahead and free it So as you can see, it came in here as the A1. So we actually want that to be D1. So I have the D dot in there. Click off of it. Give it another second here, and it'll update it. And now that you can see it's added it there, and now it is D1 for the legend. So now that falls in line with these. So that's going to be the easiest way to add that. So the big thing to remember with this is when you are adding your sheets to this index, make sure you're adding them in order. You may have to add them in smaller batches of 10 or less. I've had I've ran into some issues with that. Um, if you're having issues with the drag and drop from the model, go ahead and go and do the sheet add sheets through this way. Uh, the last thing to show you in here is going to be how to use the print organizer from within here and that's just going to be this button right here so if you click that and select it make sure you're selecting ones of the same type if you're doing it through this method so I'm going to do this one I'm going to do the uh, color override small raster for my D sheets click OK you'll see it'll transfer everything out See, this will take a, take a little bit for this to build the list of uh, references and things that it needs to do for the print organizer.
Now you can see the speed will depend on the size of the file that it's having to transfer out and look at. And once it's done, there's our print organizer. And you can see it put it into that same way that it was laid out in here, where we've got our D sheets, our legend here. Once you have it in here, you can just go like that, drag and drop, and now we've got it all in there. Then we can go here, move the legend folder, and now we've got a print set for our D sheets D1 through 19. And that covers using the index of sheets and the sheet index in the file explorer.